All right, guys, welcome to the Shark Husbandry Network. Uh, I want to do a video today on interspecies aggression. Uh, I have uh, two male white spotted bamboo sharks, and uh, one of them I bought when he was about eight or nine inches. Uh, I currently still have him, he's in the tank now, and uh, he's probably about 26 inches long now. And uh, I rescued a white spotted bamboo male from a, a uh, person. She had a tank, they got a divorce, and she had four sharks in it. Three of them died. I was able to get the last one that they had left. And when I got that shark, he was a little smaller than the other one that I had. And uh, eventually, I guess just from eating better and better water quality, he started growing rapidly and ended up outgrowing the other one that I had. And uh, was around 27 and uh, around 27 and a half inches. When I first put them together, they were fine. They, the one that currently housed the tank was slightly aggressive towards him, but um, it kind of wore off. So for about eight months to a year, everything was okay. Well, then they started fighting with one another on a regular basis. And with the, the new guy uh, kind of getting the better of it, and it, wasn't, it, it went from being a, once or you know every couple days, just a little nipping at each other and kind of grabbing their fins to uh, four and five times a day till I finally had to get rid of one of the, my white spotted bamboo sharks, take it somewhere else uh, and uh, give it an, a, a, another home. So uh, he ended up taking the dorsal fin on the other one and putting a big gash through it, about a half an inch gash at the top dorsal fin. So he's healing up now, still eating good, so he's still healthy. The other one didn't have a mark on him, the, the one that I ended up uh, uh, finding another home for. But whenever you have, especially bamboo sharks uh, epul and epulet sharks, sharks in that family, they can be very interspecies aggressive with, uh, with, with, uh, with males. I didn't realize how much it would possibly be because I've never really seen it before. I don't think it's, it's not really, you know, really that common, but uh, unfortunately it just kind of started getting out of hand. So if you are purchasing uh, a bamboo shark uh, or like a white spotted, brown bedded, Hallstrom's bamboo or any kind of epulet shark, uh, just if you you know try to avoid housing two males with one another I did learn that the hard way and I just learned that very recently I didn't want to get rid of him but I had to so uh, um, the the fights will start off kind of small then it just gets worse and worse till the other one just kind of beats the other one to death so uh, you know make sure whenever you're uh, you do purchase any of those sharks make sure you get a male and a female it's very easy to tell uh, you'll see the the uh, underside of the male you'll see the the uh, the organs that the male's the male carries is two separate organs underneath where the female will not have any, uh, so it's very simple to figure out what's a male and what's a female, uh, and it's worth the effort if you if you purchase one. Most places that you contact that you buy one, if you can't see it and you're ordering it online, you can tell them what you want, and most of them will be able to, more than happy to oblige you. This is the Shark Husbandry Network. Stay tuned and please leave your message and comments below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks.